Yo. Today we're going to be talking about the CrossFit Level 1 and why you need to sign up. Andrew, you say you got to sign up? Why would I do that? Well, I'll tell you why. Because in just two days, you're going to get way more information than you're going to get in a four-year freaking undergraduate degree. Trust me, I would know. You're going to spend just over a thousand compared to tens of thousands of dollars. For what? Nothing! It's been some time since I took my Level 1, and from what I recall, this shirt used to fit me a little bit better. I need to, uh, 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 <clears throat> That's better. You're also gonna learn more in two days than you're going to in two years watching some idiot make YouTube videos on the internet. Is that what you think? You think? Sign up for your level one. And Riller, out. So we've got two minutes before we go to go, Olivia, so we're done. That was awesome. Okay. You know how many times it took me to get that in the bar? <laughs> so you're on event two? <laughs> we came here to have fun. She might be having a lot more fun than we think. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, we're excited. Crazy. No expectations, man. Uh, notoriously, is Olivia notoriously good on her hands? Notoriously, handstand walking, yes. Handstand push-ups, no. Okay. So there's no pressing here. So, I mean, this is like a, you can have a good gymnast come out here and just have a bad day and keep trying and have a bad workout. So this is kind of like a, this is a toss-up workout. Yeah. You got the squad with you? Yeah. Squad. And we have your, your family and your community. It's always a good day. Always. Have you, have you taken a, a, a yeah. toss with this? How'd it go? Uh, it was good. I think you just have to be uh, super calm with it and slow, slower than what you want to do on certain parts. Yeah. Ignore It'll be fun, though. Ignore the 10,000 people. In that yeah, area. yeah. Just ignore all the, the screaming people. It'll be fine. Like, be good. Yeah. like the rest is watching. No. And Savan's watching us. <laughs> and 10,000 other people. What's up, buddy? Oh, nice. You good? Yeah. How's it going? Good. Awesome. Yeah. I'm here with you guys. Good. Love it. Um, you know what I'm talking about, though? Yeah, yeah. Like, like it's it's much different than on the floor. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about loading as much. Yeah. So I mean, even practicing a little where you just feel good, like even a little bit less of a kip, keeping your balance, you know what I mean? Can you try this too many times? Yeah, I think so. She, she's still, still 230, we're 230, we're nine minutes, we're fine. We're plenty of time. And I mean, she's so good at the pullovers, like we didn't even, we just did one of those and we're good to go, you know? Um, it's just confidence, just building, you know? The ex-gymnasts have a really big advantage because of the box pirouettes and just balance. You know, Alex isn't an ex-gymnast. I think she's super skilled for someone who's not. Um, but, you know, still it's not it's not a wheelhouse, you know? But that's all right. Get a wheelhouse in the morning. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You can burn out your shoulders. Did you like what you saw? That looked pretty impressive. Where? Just now, Katrin. That last run? Yeah, that was perfect. Yeah, she looks smooth. That's perfect, right? Huh. I don't know if anything's perfect, but it's as, it's as good as we can ask for today. Hey, Savan, did you see Robert Rail? Who? Robert Rail. Financial that? advisor, Bailey Rail's dad. Oh, <laughs> that's the guy. Is that him? Right there. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Introduce me. Introduce me. I yeah. Need, I need one of those. I like how you ended up with a new truck. I like that. A financial <laughs> advisor gives you a new truck. Thank you. <laughs> He's doing a good job. He's, oh. <laughs> He's doing great. He's the best. <laughs> Who's more nervous, you or him? 
This is probably the one event that she actually coached me on. Oh. She, she's too gymnastic, so it's like, you know, I'm actually asking her. I'm like, hey, what do you think? So, yeah, I actually learned a lot here. It's good. I'm excited. I'm excited. This is cool. And like, uh, you know, as much as people look at this one, you know, like when they first, like, come out or like events like this you're like man this is not really fitness but this is a test and you see even some of the fittest like this challenge them it's a new thing and I absolutely love it I absolutely love a good challenge after a 40 minute bike ride and a 20 minute grind you need to walk to the edge yeah Shake it out and then kick up. Too much more, honestly. Okay. I'm just like overdoing it. You tell me what you need. I'll do one more here. What? My shoulder is not going to be the shoulder. is not warm enough. Yeah. Sure, sounds good. <laughs> What'd she say to you? They wanted to interview me. <laughs> if my tie stands, we'll see. Hopefully it stands. <laughs> tell me, tell me. Three, two, one, go and. It was, so before the pig flip workout, I projectile vomited in the center of the warm up area. <laughs> you missed it, I know, the behind the scenes missed the, the throw up. But. Did other people see it? Oh yeah, people saw it and they kind of like took a couple steps away from me, yeah. you know, they're like, I'm not sick, I just, when I get nervous, I, I just vomit, I just do There's it a lot. There's a lady sneaking up behind you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Sorry. She can sneak up on me. So. Yeah, I got the nerves Why? out of the last really? one. Really? That was from just being nervous. Yeah, I just get like, my stomach gets a little like weird and I throw up whatever I eat. So it yeah. kind of sucks because I, as the weekend goes on, I, I have less and less calories in me. But but before this one, I felt like I'm home, you know, like it felt good going into this one. So I was excited. I knew going in, I was like, I got to get a heat win on this. <laughs> and, and, and then how was it out there? Three, two, one, go. I've never, never worked out in the Coliseum. So I'm one for one on wins in the Coliseum. <laughs> Did you feel yourself going to the zone? or? Were you yeah, like, definitely, yeah. You did? Yeah, I felt the crowd, like, it was great. <laughs> I definitely felt the crowd on me. I was looking for my parents, but there's no chance finding them. <laughs> no chance. Oh, it's so great. It's so great. Right. 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 Try and, like, do them like a, almost like a strict pull-up. Pull up. Yeah. Sorry, and then pull over. Just, it's like a bar muscle-up. Like, just drop straight down yeah. and you can use that momentum. Okay. You didn't kip at the bottom, though, did you? Yeah. You did right? Yeah. Did I find it? Okay, I don't know what I did. Okay. Okay. Well, don't be fine. Enjoy the fact. Have fun. You're going to head out to the floor. Straight down the sideboards to the start mats. Stay on the floor. Please do not go on to the platform to start your race. You will, chip, you will trip the chip timer. Okay? Stay on the floor, green mat, down and back, finish on the platform red. It's time to get inverted. We're focusing on gymnastic skills. We went long on the bike. We did some classic crossfit out at the North Park, and we're coming inside to do a skills chipper. Brandon shot out of a cannon, is already on her freestanding handstand push-ups, and she has yet to kick down. Well, the word of the day, Sean, is equilibrium. The athletes are going to be upside down, doing pirouettes, pullovers on the bar. you got to be able to keep your bearings straight. Balance, patience, and precision is the name of the game. On the pullovers, at the bottom, you must start with straight arms and finish with straight arms. It's an affiliate to, to play around with our gymnastic skills. And now we see it here as a major part of this skills chippers test. You do not have experience in this realm of getting inverted, doing circles, doing flips, which is all part of our 100 words of video. We now have to do a handstand on top of those steps and do a 360 before she can proceed down. And that's a 20 inch box that she has to kick up to. She is over with the yellow line. This should be no problem for Daniel Brandon, although she just got hit with a no rep. Her hands were not completely behind the yellow line when she started. And that shouldn't matter to Daniel Brandon, because she's going to absolutely 
demolished the top time. Danielle Brandon takes test number three in convincing fashion, 312.75 seconds. I mean, we picked her for a reason. Shot, I was like, that's all I wanted to yeah, see. Yeah, I know. So that's good. Unreal. That's clutch. Yeah. And then this I'm guy. like, the pullovers? <laughs> <laughs> like a magnet. The, the pullovers were so easy once I got Once you got the flow, I know. At and like five, I was like, this is You're just like spinning. Nothing. Yeah. Did your judge even yeah. like talk to you? Thanks. I was going to say, like, judge had nothing to say. I love it. Speechless. Oh, that was so cool. It's cool. It's yeah. cool to see you block out everything else when you have to. Yeah. Like the fact that you have the ability to do that and then have it this morning and then do what you needed to do on a crossfit tripper and then come out here and perform high school gymnastics. Yeah. It definitely is just progress. Yeah. Um, it's not my best day, but I'm really proud of it. Like I'm really proud of leveling my emotion and not not letting a disappointment make me start to define myself by anything like it's one skill that I don't really have yet for whatever reason of biking and you know taking turns quick on the bike but it sure doesn't represent my fitness uh, so it's like there was no lack of confidence going into the rest of today and even more confidence going into the rest of the weekend. What's happening? Why are you guys all lining up? Waiting for escort. Escort? Yeah, coaches have to be escorted to their seats. So these are all the coaches for the next seat? For this heat, yes sir. For the oh, heat coming. Not to go. Yeah. Uh, not the one that's on the floor. Correct. And then where does this guy take you? Well, he's just he's just making sure they don't go out there, but we'll have someone else from athlete control to bring them over. And then but when they when you go out there, where do they take you? To their seats. Oh, you guys all sit together? They do. Oh. I don't. Oh, I don't, you're I don't. athlete control. Yeah, I'm a nobody. Oh, you're not a coach. I'm a nobody. Oh. You're coming the wrong do you know, person. Do you know who Bryce Mitchell is? UFC fighter? Uh, no. Uh, you know who Bryce Mitchell is? UFC fighter? I haven't watched UFC since like the days of GSP. If you smoked a little crack, you would look just like Bryce oh, yeah. you Maybe a lot of crack. Okay. Yeah. I need to thin out a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Just, <laughs> little, just look like a little more gone. Of meth and you'd be like, oh, you'd be like, like. Uh, if you get interviewed, if you win the heat or whatever, and you get interviewed, don't fucking cuss. Did right? Danielle oh, Brandon yeah. drop a couple? Danielle just cussed, and they fucking had to apologize on the show. Yeah, ending the day on a win. Um, is amazing, but it's a really long weekend, and I'm here to fucking fight, so congratulations. Thank you. So, so don't cuss if you're interviewed after your heat, because you're in the final heat. All right? Everyone here, are you in the final heat, too? Are you in the final heat? Are you in the final heat? OK, did you hear what I said? Don't cuss. Yes, thank you. Please. Thank you. <laughs> All right, good luck. That's it. Thanks, Dave. Showtime. First night in the Coliseum, baby. Say that again? First night in the Coliseum, baby. But not your first time. No. I'm hoping this one goes a little better than my first time. Alan, could you over warm up for this? Yeah, if you do like 30 pullovers and way too many handstand push-ups, like if you're super nervous. I'm sure people did that, like trying to practice technique. But yeah, you just want to like motor skills, kind of fine tune them and you'll be good. What's the mood of the, of the boys? Depends on the event. Sometimes people are more stressed than others. Uh, we have a good time. I think it's a little different than it has been in the past. Joking, having fun. More fun than normally, you think? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Good. Uh, je pratique les marches un peu. Pratique les marches. You do that language too. Huh? You do that language too? Yeah. 
It's gonna be a fun one. Did uh, Jeff cramp on the last workout? No, he's just bad. He's just what? He's just bad. He's just bad. <laughs> the pig. The pig. The pig. Slippery? No, it just... Unfortunately, some people have some old ones, and most people don't, and there's none in the warm-up area, and Jeff is not good with things that he doesn't get to practice with. So, the he just, like, he gave it really hard, too, on the first event. I think it took, like... Would it have improved his position on event two? Maybe, maybe not. But it was like a combination of, of things, but it wasn't a good one. What place did you take on the bike event? Second. But like 24th or 25th on the... I'd rather he, ha he has it today than on Sunday because of the point spread. But Did you guys know he was going to do so well at the bike? Yep. Uh, oh, good this good, no, but we knew it, was, it should be a strong event for him. Which one? The uh, first event. Yeah. You knew it was going to be good for you? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, I go short too. <laughs> There's going to be a collision. Put it down and What's up, baby? Sometimes it is. Yeah, you got to be careful you don't practice too much, warm up too much. Yeah. It's tempting to want to like master the skill and feel supremely confident going out right, the floor, but if you fatigue your triceps and screw yourself for the actual thing, doesn't make sense. Lane nine, Koski, lane eight, Vigneau, lane six. Just make your way over to your lanes. What was she telling you? Coaches for heat three, please make your way over to the stairs. What? The tips. The tips. Yeah. Were you a gymnast? No, she was a ballerina. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good. That's good. But she's like a lot into CrossFit, so. Does it things to hang on to? Yeah. It's it's easier like sometimes just to have like somebody very like s that you're sharing your life with just here and like supporting you and like giving you tips also yeah. so yeah like carrying the food carrying like everything like she's like everything carrying your emotions yeah she's <laughs> just not outside of the on the floor everywhere else she's with me so yeah that that helps a lot I feel like uh, like everybody has somebody like that here and uh, Roman is, you need to be sure that you get to the Russian language, so you need to be like, tick, 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 tick. Okay, coach. Okay, was that English, what you just said? Sorry? Was that English? Yeah, no, I'm just saying that Roman doesn't speak English oh. so, so, so well. He's learning a lot, but you need to be sure that he gets the message. So you need to be like, you know, repeating him. You got it? Say it. Good. Good. Next. Oh my gosh, bro. That's pretty good. That was like the second woman's time. Is he gonna smile? Yeah. Yay! Good. Let's go. Big smiles. We like those. <laughs> he did not like that. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Gotta get flexy. He told me specifically not to swear. I oh, never oh, swear. Oh, oh, oh. We got a potty now. Except when, yeah. <laughs> Except when I swear. Those Serbians, man. <laughs> Everyone knows. Test number three is the inverted medley. Unbroken elements, four sections leading down to the pull-up rig in the back, where we're bringing out the pullovers for the second time in CrossFit Games history. Work it's going to take these athletes to keep their bearings straight. The word of the day is equilibrium and then balance patience and precision. When should I go? When should I come down? Final heat is underway. Cole Greasaver has a top time at 347.89 seconds. It's Justin's time to chip back out of that hole he dug for himself earlier today. 
your overall leader in the white jersey. Looks to continue his great day one. He leads here going into the final section. as I've ever seen you this early in the competition. How are you able to rebound mentally to put up a second place here in test number three? I, uh, I appreciate these moments so much. And uh, yeah, it's a long weekend. I'm, I'm gonna keep fighting for sure. Congratulations. Thanks guys, appreciate all of you. You should ask him. <laughs> I haven't talked to him yet. I think he's, uh, dude, he just, he just wants to compete. Yeah. Yeah. I've made a lot of ground from event two to event three just uh, with my body and how I'm feeling. So just kind of, we got some time now, so try to make the most of it and get recovered as I can and hit the ground running tomorrow. What happened to your titty? <laughs> hit the handlebars pretty hard. That's just a straight handlebar tattoo? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, caught my chin a little bit. I was like, hit, hit it, got back on the bike, just like, gotta keep going. Handlebars were a little sideways, and uh, just like blood was dripping onto my bike. Yeah. And I was like, obviously adrenaline's pumping, and I felt completely fine. And I was like, hopefully whatever that blood's coming from is not uh, anything too serious. And it's just a little kiss on the chin, so. It was fine. a wild bike wreck. Yeah, the one no. with you and Lazar. I, I don't been, know what happened, but I was standing right there, and it would just look like just both of you flew off. No, the I'm, I'm I'm very lucky to be able to kind of <laughs> hit another event, so I'm, I'm happy I'm not anything too crazy. Just bumps and bruises, which those come with the games weekend. Um, what's your feeling with the whole media situation? It is it is wild. It Do is you like uh, it or? it's pretty hectic. I mean, I, I love our sport, want to promote it the best we can, but I also don't want to give the same interview three times. So I think that's just hopefully media guys get good at their job and either ask better questions, <laughs> don't just talk to talk. So it'll be, uh, it'll be good. I mean, a lot of those guys are super respectful enough ever didn't want to talk. I know they'd, uh, they'd honor that, so. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Knifer here, is there a better wingman in the business? Definitely not. I mean, definitely. He's, uh, I'm very, very fortunate to have a guy like that in my corner, but our, our team extends so much farther in that. It's uh, very fortunate, for sure. Did you finish? Yeah. Oh shit, hey guys. I've been fourth in that heat. I think I'm fifth overall right now, with two heats to go. So hopefully we'll get a top 20 finish and be within striking distance of that top 20 line. I think my best events are still to come. Yeah? Yeah. I like alpaca. I like, uh, ski bag event. It's a good thing about alpaca, they said it's the same uh, rope climbs from semis. So that seated up and leg us down, 12 foot target. So I go for just doing 15 foot rope climbs. Those taller athletes can jump and they're up in three pulls. It takes me six, but with this, it's like they're doing six, seven pulls and I'm doing like eight or nine. So it's a lot closer margin there. So they uh, are gonna fatigue a lot quicker than I do. Uh, have you talked to your dad today? No. no. I talked to him yesterday to see how the wiener dogs are doing. Oh, how said are they, they doing? Said they're doing good. <laughs> well, see, he had trouble getting them in their pen for bedtime the first night, he said. He had to chase them around. And then 
one of them peed on him and said and he got it. So <laughs> I think it's coming better now. It's a large format film. So my goal isn't really to freeze frame the motion. It's more about you know getting the um, older people in motion and like the fact that they're moving and you know doing great things. I think that that's mostly what I'm, the story I'm trying to tell. Um, and most of the time, it's shooting portraits, so you know still stuff. But I wanted like a few of the action. Uh, yeah, right now I'm setting it up, so I'm focusing in the ground glass, trying to see what the image is, and you can kind of see, it's like flipped and reversed, so you can see through the ground glass kind of what the image will be like, but not exactly. Um, and so you use the focusing knobs, and you change the aperture and the shutter speeds all in the lens, and the lens can come off, so it's like its own little... So you yeah. And it only goes up to um, one five hundredth of a second. But the fact is that the aperture is so small, it goes to 64 f64 that whatever you really focus on will be tack sharp. So that's mostly what you use it for in large format. This isn't like the normal subject of what you use this camera for. Guys, I am signing up for the Open this year. I am so excited. I am so scared. Not scared, not excited. Anxious, titillated, up for the challenge. We'll do the Open together. I'm up for the challenge. I want you to be up for the challenge. I wanna be a part of something that brings us all closer together. I wanna do something that supports uh, CrossFit, the CrossFit Games, uh, the group of us that's out there that believes in personal accountability and personal responsibility. So that's why I'm doing it. Three weeks are over and I'm gonna be Titillated, proud of myself. I'm gonna think I'm the shit because I completed it. The affiliates that have the most participation, hit me up in the DMs, hit Souza up, and I'd love to have you guys on the show and do my part in helping uh, support you guys and reward you guys for what you're doing for uh, your clients. See you on the leaderboard. <laughs> Thank you.